Hey, Fezzy Goat family, Melissa here in Thomasville, Georgia, and I'm so glad to be here with you today. Um, we had some some family drama, car drama. I think it's just always is going to go on. In fact, that's what just happens. So I'm glad to be here. I took off yesterday with my daughter to go take her back to Auburn. And when we got in the cars, because I was going to follow her, her car was acting up and had all these things going on. Her windshield wipers wouldn't turn off. It was crazy. So we went by the the mechanic I guess because we'd had it in there a couple days ago and they were like oh we'll take a look at it and see if we can figure it out well they five o'clock last night they still had it and we decided that we we're just gonna go so it's getting dusk out and I'm following my daughter they had to unhook her windshield wipers so they would stop wiping and her lights start going off her car like headlights anyway so we turned around she was gonna let me spend the night with her which was really sweet of her my daughter she had rules though if I was gonna spend the night I had to do certain things before I got in the bed with her so her mother she had certain rules for her mother anyway so we turned around and came home now we're getting the car fixed but now we have four drivers and not enough cars so it's a lot of juggling going on and I'm just really happy to be here and you know it's really funny to me I'm you all would understand this but like when you don't have control over things it's so nice to pick up a project that you have complete control over and just knit on it my daughter actually said yesterday we were sitting in the car waiting for her car to be done and I had grabbed a project or two she said mom you're really handling this really well you're not getting angry I'm like that's because I'm knitting. So there, there are some advantages to our, our knitting obsessions. All right, so let's see. Um, okay, let me just start talking about my projects. I'm a little discombobulated, but this okay. We'll be fine. Oh, man, overboard. All right, so the first one I want to talk about, yes, is the heart again. And I know it may not look so, but I am getting there. So I finished another repeat. And, um, yeah, this, this yarn is in the sale, y'all. It's um, Spud and Chloe Fine. This is the color uh, Tutu. And I think we have Sidewalk is like a light gray. So check it out. Um, very nice to knit with. I'm going to just bend down here and grab this real quick. Maybe. Back. Um, okay. So this is the Hardigan. So we're, we're getting, this is the the front so I am slowly I, I promise you I'm working on this and chip I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get to a certain point and all of a sudden it's like wow and it's like on your there on the downside and it's gonna go really quickly but right now it doesn't feel like it's going very quickly so I apologize that you are having to keep looking at it all right so hard again all right what's the next one I want to talk about um oh yeah so this is what I I was um god this is kind of similar to I just realized and I didn't know that I did this. Maybe I talked about this last week. I didn't think I matched my projects and my project bag and my stoppers, but apparently I do, and I don't even do it on purpose. So um, this is the one that, Harry, this is my sock. I had in the car when I was being very calm, my daughter said. So I've got, I took it apart. I did ribbing. I don't know, seven, eight inches, something like that. And I did my heel flap I think I'm calling it the right thing heel flap here and then I did my heel and now I'm picking up for the gusset does that sound right so um I, I've done one side I picked up and I have to go did I yeah and pick up the other side sorry right there so and I'm doing it on my nine inch circulars so it's going very quickly and I have to say I've been enjoying it so we'll see if I become obsessed with socks but these are these are going to be fun yeah anyway so one sock so i still have to do the other one but it was it's been going pretty quickly um the pattern i'm using for that is church mouse basic sock pattern so i compared it to a couple others and i think they're very similar i'm trying to think yeah so i'm doing cuff down all right so that's my sock um what else did i say about it okay that was it that was it okay the other getting there where is it the other one that's been super fun to work on is um the Stephen West project that I'm doing and it is called oh I'm gonna mess it up mo more mo hair eno mo hair eno medley and it's um I did the pico not the, yeah the pico in the beginning which was a little 
time consuming. I won't say it was a challenge. It was time consuming. And I really did go stash diving for this project. And so I've got the two colors here. And then I've switched. I don't know if you can see my little see my cantha furriness here. So this is going to, I forget what they call this pattern. There, But there's like, and I do seven repeats. So it creates a, like a panel. And it's really been fun. And I think I also like working with my uh, Surrey Silk, the fuzziness. And of course I have that other color in there is Jackie O, which you know is my favorite. And I just happen to have a whole bunch of it in my sash. Well, I hope, I hope a whole bunch. There are a lot of little balls, so I'm hoping it, it adds up. Um, so I'll just take, I'll show you a little peekaboo what else I got in here to go with it. I have this color. I feel like there's another color. This one, I already showed you that one. This one, I have already showed you that one. I have my, um, my Jackie O's. And then, I guess that's it. And then I have my, my Surrey Silk. So I guess that's it. Five colors. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So I'm excited I, to work on it and get past, I think I've done two of the repeats. I think I have to do seven total. About this long. This was seven as well. So stay tuned. Yeah, I think I could show you that real quick too, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. And I think it's just going to do, oh, lean off the camera, sorry, different, different combinations. I, mm, looks like there's some repeats there too. So this, it's been a fun one. If you want to go through your fingering stash, like this is a good one to do. Because I think, I don't think any one of them was a total of 400. I think, I mean, uh, uh, the maximum from, I think they're, they're like 300, 350. And then in case I run out, I mean, I have a little, little mini skein I might use. Like I'm just kind of throwing stuff in there and we'll see. We'll see how it looks. All right, so that's my Stephen West. I'm gonna check him off my 2023 list. And who knows, maybe I'll do another one. All right, so I got that. Oh, and then my Shandy, my cardigan. This is my Shandy cardigan by Baby Cocktails. I did work on this a little bit too. So I finished one sleeve. I could put it on, maybe. And then I have, I've done the short rows up here. And I'm working on the sleeve. I have to, so I'm making my little, you can see I have my little markers there. I have to do 22, I think. And I think I might have 11, 10, 11. So I'm halfway there. And they're, they, these little markers indicate decreases. So it's getting smaller and smaller. So it should be super fast. And then I have a little ribbing to do on the bottom. Then I got to figure out picking up the neckline. I'm a little worried because she says on hers that she based her pickup around the, the for the, the button band she based it on um blocking her gauge swatch harriet i harriet sitting over here watching i did not block my gauge swatch but i'm confident that it'll be fine so anyway we'll see stay tuned for that one and then i gotta find some fun buttons so i'm gonna see if cadence can help me with that because i think she's she's got a place on etsy is that how you, that's how i say it um where there's some fun buttons I don't know that I need to do too much with my buttons because there's a lot going on with this sweater with the yarn and the pattern. So maybe something simple. We'll see. All right, so that is the Shandy. Um, what else was I gonna say? I think that's all about that one. And then the, oh, the other thing, this is, was fun. Right here. Let me show you this real quick while I'm talking about it because I don't see it on my list. This, oh, this is the yarn I'm gonna do my great nephew's hat with. I haven't started that yet. Um, this is the shop sample using the, the um, brush cotton and just about done with this. Wow, that looks really long. Just about done with that sleeve. I guess not. No, it's not. Okay, you have to hold the shoulders up. Sorry. I think I have just a couple more inches on this and then I'll do some ribbing and then I do the other sleeve. So it's really fun doing toddler sweaters. They're super fast. And I'm doing it on my nine inch circulars. So yeah, uh, this is Marie Green pattern, beekeeper. Yeah, there it is, Biddy Beekeeper sweater. I did have one of my nits. And I know you're gonna ask about the sweater I'm wearing. This is the V-neck boxy by Hohe. And the yarn I used is less traveled um, with a little silk in it. Uh, prickly pear is the color. So I'm going to stand up because last time I wore it, somebody asked me about the boxiness, boxiness of it. So this is how it kind of hangs. And the sleeves, the sleeves were nice to do on this one because it's a drop sleeve. So love wearing it. It's super soft and flowy. 
And I do have a worst, I have the worsted in queue. I think I'm a little far from me, I'm sorry. Um, but I haven't started that one yet. All right, so I did start my Papa sweater and uh, it is super fun. So I just wanted to show you. So this is, it's kind of hard to see it, I know, but this is the flowers. I started the color work doing the regular um, trapping the yarn, carrying it. And there were a lot of, there's a lot of floats, you know, it's a lot of spaces where I wasn't using the white yarn. You can see, oh, is this a good one? It kind of is puckering like the first couple, oh, here's a good one. So it's kind of tight and puckering and you can, and the white showing through in the beginning. Then I decided to try, well, somebody, I looked at one of their projects and they said they used, did I write it down? Yes, the ladder back jackered method for trapping and carrying your yarns. And I was like, what is that? Hadn't heard about it. A couple people had come to me and asked me if I'd ever done it. So I don't know if it's a new thing or not, but it's, I think it's most beneficial using it when you have color work like this, where you're carrying, like there are times I'm carrying this white yarn, like 20, 30 stitches, you know? So the back, the ladder back jackered, you should check it out. I have, I found one video that was very helpful. And what you do, at first when I saw it, I'm like, oh, no way, I'm not going to do that. But what you have to do is you, you kind of create, I'm not going to say create a stitch because you, it's clearly not a stitch. Let's see if I can find one. Okay, right here between, see where the blue markers are? That's where I have this, it's, oh, where is it? <laughs> yeah, you can see it right there. It's, um, it's a backwards loop. So you're, you're creating a backwards loop on your needle and I mark it so that I know that it's not in the pattern. It's like an extra stitch. So when I come to it, you, um, you purl it. So what's happening is it's keeping, it's a cake to these, these ladder backs, I guess what you call them, right? Ladder back, um, in the back of the fabric. So it doesn't show through. I feel like it's giving me a little more space so that I'm not, um, it's not tight, you know? It's very cool. It's very cool. And it's been really fun to do. So yeah, you can see on the top up here, I've got some tightness, some puckering. This is where I was not doing it. And this is where I picked it up when I was doing that back, ladder back. So it's been pretty cool. It's been a learning, a good learning lesson for me. It's fun when you get a little bit older to learn something new. And I'm really happy that I'm doing that. I do think, yeah, I need to spread it out a little bit. But the other thing I'm not too worried about is it's really oversized. So it's not like the sweater is going to be stretched out necessarily. But I, this has just been so much fun. Like uh, to do a different kind of color work. Can you see that? There are, the pattern repeat is 90 stitches. And I will say the first couple rows were a little challenging because you have to make sure you have it. It's like a setup row, right, of your color work. Because then once that's set up, I'm just basing my lines for the flower on the previous stitch, right? So you just, it's been much easier. So what I have on here, oh, that was the other thing I was gonna tell you. So what I have on here is stitch markers for my repeat, 90 stitches, I have special ones for those. Then I have 10, for every 10 stitches, I have the red ones. And then the blue ones are for when I do that little jackard, jackard backward loop. The internet keeps dropping me off. Oh, you can rewatch later. Okay, sorry about that. I hope, I don't know if it's on your end or our end, but I don't seem to have a problem over here. But anyway, um, was it? oh, so I apparently, another thing that's helping me with, with the space between my stitches, so I'm not getting too tight, is I went to, for a longer cord. But when I switched from the shorter cord to the longer cord, I guess I didn't tighten my needles. Oh my gosh, so I was sitting there knitting. <laughs> And my daughter's like, Mom, what are you doing? And I'm looking. I have two needles in my hand, but my markers had all fallen out, and my cord had come off my needle. And I was sweating because there was a lot going on here. <laughs> but I, I, it was like I didn't panic. I think that's the key. So somebody else has wonky connection. I don't know. That's strange. See, Harry, it's a good thing you're sitting right here watching it. Well, I'm just saying Harry was supposed to be home watching. But anyway, I feel like I'm rambling on. But that was a little, um, make sure you tighten your, your needles if you're using interchangeable. So I have been doing that periodically because that was very scary. So the Papa sweater, super fun. 
I say that now, but it has been really fun. Like, I can't wait to work on it. So, all right. What else do I got to share with you guys? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, the yarn. Let me tell you this. The yarn that I'm using for this is the, um, it's new for Less Traveled yarn. It's their DK Paloma. Paloma, right? I'm saying that right. So it's got a little silk in it. Oh, yeah. It's very soft. Very soft. All right. I think that's all I have for you guys. Please check out our website, uh, fuzzygoatyarns.com. And check out our sale. It's on that website as well. And we text us, call us, email us if we can help you plan any of your future projects. And if we can help you with anything else. All right. Y'all have a good week. I look forward to catching you up with you guys again next week. Great. Take care. Bye.